Good day, Seed and Joiner agents. Today we're going to be going over a real quick video tutorial on how to utilize the residential data form, not only through your DocuSign transaction rooms, but also through zip form in order to create a completely filled in data form and then to be able to process or send all of that information directly up to the Greenville Multiple Listing Service to create a partial listing. One of the things I want to do first, you can see this is my test room with Rocky Balboa. I'm utilizing the address for the Midtown office. I've already got sellers in here. You can have that. It doesn't really matter in this situation. So as you can see, there's no documents currently in this room. And so what I'm going to do is I'm in the documents section here. I'm going to go to add. I'm going to go to zip form. I'm going to go from zip form library. And I'm going to look in the GGAR library, not the South Carolina Association of Realtors library. And we will look at the residential data form here. I will add that. That will pop into my document section down here. I'm going to go ahead and open that. As you can see, I've not left DocuSign transaction rooms at all at this time. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly fill this out here so you can see what all we're doing. However, I'm going to pause the video right now so I can get the majority of this filled out and then I can create the partial. I'm not going to take the time to fill in everything. I'm just filling out uh, just some stuff for the purposes of this video here. But if you were to go through and fill in all of these features and fill in your remarks um, and fill out this information, um, you will be able to, obviously, let me just make a few changes here so I could save this here. We got a yes for our kitchen and it's going to be 10 by 10 it's on the main level okay so now we got a save button we save everything here and then we can click out of this so i've already signed into zip forms and i have this particular transaction over here uh, in my zip forms because it's linked through docusign transaction rooms now if i want to go up to because i'm in the transaction if i want to go up to documents i can see that my residential data form is here and if i open it up through here i have this uh, depending on how your version of zip forms is set up I have it where I want to be asked uh, for the old version or the new version. Most people are using the new version. I'm going to show you what it looks like in both versions. So if I open up the form editor in the classic mode, I can see that I've got the residential data form. It mirrors everything that I did in DocuSign transaction rooms, as you can see here, even my new changes here. Now, if I were to create this listing, you have this big button right here. Let's say this whole thing was filled out completely. I have this big button here. I said create listing. And within just a matter of seconds, it puts that listing ID into the MLS. Now, I want to uh, bring up a little note here. If you've never done this before, you're going to get a window that pops up that you need to enter your MLS ID. Every time I've ever done this, your MLS ID has been your NRDS number and otherwise known as your NERDS number. So please put your NERDS number in there if it does ask you. And that way, you'll be able to process everything to the MLS. Now. I'm going to go into the MLS. I'm going to go over here to partials. Well, I'm going to go to listings and partials here. I'm going to pull up my partials here, the search. And as you can see, I've already been playing around with this. So I have three different partials here, but that last version that I just sent has went up to the MLS and there it is right there. So if I were to open that up, you will see that this information has already been transmitted. Okay. The majority of information is going to be transmitted. What I want to say here is status will never be filled out. So if you need to process everything through DocuSign transaction rooms, send it through zip forms, you're, you're going to have to come in here regardless, make any edits you want to make, and fill in your active status, and then you could hit save here. Now I want to go back to uh, zip forms, and I want to go back here. I want to go over here back to residential data form and I'm going to open it up in the new form editor so you see what it looks like here as well. Up here, it's going to look a little different. You still have the same information here, but up here, you've got the create listing here. So if I was to make a change, let's add a few more things. Let's go down here to traditional um, here and exer, let's do stone. I'm just filling out a few things, fence yard and corner lot. Okay. So if I want to save that, and then I want to create listing here, I just press this button. And then the created listing comes and it's 295848. If I go back over to MLS, 
and I go back into listings, go to partials, look at mine, search, there it is, 294848. And I can open up all here, and I can see that those things are in there, and a few other things that I just put in that document. Is when you go to the property that you have your computer, you have your laptop, whatever you're util utilizing um, to fill in that residential data form, that you're in the house, you're filling this all out with your computer there so that way you don't miss anything. And then if you do have Wi-Fi access or you're using your hotspot, you can then immediately upload this directly to the MLS. And then you can fill in all your photos here uh, and do whatever else you need to do to make your property active on the MLS. I hope that does help. If you have any questions, please see your ASC. And we look forward to helping you in the future. Have a great day. Take care.